Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is Friday, September the 27th, 2019. Let's talk boxing. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now I keep telling people that in the world of sports, there's no sport quite like boxing. <laughs> there gonna be there gonna be times in this sport where you're just stunned. Where you're gonna ask yourself, man, you know, am I just confused here? Does everyone else in the room get the joke that I'm missing? You're gonna be outright baffled at times. So, I looked up the odds for the super middleweight title fight between champion Anthony Durrell. You know him. He's only lost once. That was to Badu Jack by majority decision. Right? You know, this guy is a guy who has been around, who's fought tough fighters, Saki Obika, multiple times. Right? Avni Yildurum in a recent fight. Right? Anthony Durrell, to me, is your prototypical KG vet who's always tough, who seems to always be fighting world-class opposition, who, at this stage of his career, seems to almost always have an experience edge on his opponent. And he's fighting unbeaten knockout artist David Benavides. Right? guy who's unbeaten, a guy who's had some KOs that look great on film, but who hasn't fought the caliber of opposition that Anthony Durrell has fought. Right? If you research Durrell, you'll find out he was a great amateur. Right? This is a guy who's been in the game a very long time, took some time off, battled cancer, came back, won the title. Right? So, in boxing, and I've watched my share of boxing matches like everyone else, right? I didn't discover boxing yesterday. I, you know, I've been following the game since I was a kid. So, <laughs> I'm looking at the betting odds. And my question, looking at the betting odds, was, wow, I wonder who's favored in this fight. That's how I saw the fight the moment before I found out the odds. I thought, man, who's favored in this fight? I did not know. Well, let me just tell you, I then saw a minus 1,000 on the page. And I thought, man, my, you know, I must be looking at the wrong line, right? Because they had some other fights listed on the page. So I thought, man, I, I must be looking at the wrong line. So I kept staring at it. And there it was. David Benavides, 10 to 1 favorite. <laughs> Folks, this fight's as over my head as the top of this screen. I don't get it. You know, 10 to 1 favorite, the young guy who hasn't fought the big names, who hasn't fought anyone as good as Anthony Durrell, who holds the title. You're telling me, and I know, Benavides was a title holder, had some problems, Okay, I get it, right? Title was vacated. Okay, I get it. But you're telling me this young guy is a 10 to 1 favorite over Anthony Durrell? Folks, I have a hard time believing anybody at 168 pounds is a 10 to 1 favorite over Anthony Durrell. <laughs> right? This to me is as preposterous as saying someone's a 10 to 1 favorite over Billy Joe Saunders. Right? It, it just doesn't compute. You understand. Guys are world class. Somebody's going to be favored. But I don't expect the underdog to be getting, in this fight, a plus 550. Right? That's outrageous. The bet I'm recommending, and I'll go into it, is to take the plus 550 underdog. By the way, he happens to be the reigning champion. <laughs> He happens to only have one loss, right? It's to take the plus 550 underdog. 
hedged with Benavides by Keo. Right? Let me just say, because Benavides is a slugger, if this fight goes the distance, then something will have gone extremely wrong for him. And I believe Durrell would then win by decision. As it is, I think Durrell has a shot at a KO. But understand, whoever I think is going to win this fight, this is one of those bets that make themselves. In other words, you go in the casino, you're saying, man, this looks like an interesting fight. This looks like a competitive fight. Then you, you know, say, hey, what are the odds on this fight? And rather than it being even money, or minus 150 to plus 120. No! They tell you that one guy's a plus 550 underdog. No need to put a bow on the package. Wrap it up. I'll take it. Let's talk about fight styles. Now Benavides, and I'll give him this, is one of the premier body punchers in boxing. You look at the highlights, I have some of them in my favorites folder here on YouTube. And he's drilling guys with body shots. Guys look grateful that the referee has stepped between the fighters to stop the fight. Benavides is clearly heavy-handed, even though he's tall. He's six one and a half, right? He's a guy who can get leverage. Right? He's a master at throwing uppercuts. He's a master at throwing hooks to the body. He's extremely heavy-handed. And when it comes to positioning, he's very good. He always seems to find a way to have his opponent between him and the ropes. Right? Let me just say, though, he's not defensively blessed. You see a 6-1 guy having his hands low to hit you to the body and wow he's unprotected up top I believe against a KG vet who's gonna be too savvy to end up between Benavides and the ropes in other words a KG vet who can keep this in the middle of the ring I get the feeling that vet is gonna see a 6-1 guy trying to bend over to hit him in the body and a guy like Durrell is going to realize that he can just come across with a straight right hand. That there are going to be times, quite frankly, where Benavides is going to be open for counters. Wide open. Right? Let me just say, too, that Benavides doesn't have the fastest foot speed. The uh, highlights look great. Right? Guys are wilting in front of him and stuff like that. The opponents they have chosen for him. Right? Porky Medina, for example, are guys who want to fight you in the pocket. The matchmakers really haven't given Benavides a lot of movers who he's fighting against. So the highlights are Benavides dominating the pocket. Right? I'm just telling you, because Benavides doesn't look like he has the kind of power that can carry. He's not Deontay Wilder, a guy who could drop a foot, throw a punch from halfway across the ring, and have that punch find you. No, this is a guy who you have to be in front of him for him to hit you. Right? So understand, a clever opponent, just in terms of positioning, if he can avoid having his back up against the ropes, and if he can also just through movement stay a little bit farther away from Benavides than Benavides would like right I think Benavides is gonna have a hard time catching up with that opponent right because foot speed wise he's just not blessed he looks like a guy who trudges around the ring now that works against the Porky Medinas of the world against the Gavrils of the world I don't think that works against an Anthony Durrell. As you watch this fight, and it's on the undercard of Errol Spence against Sean Porter. I'm picking Spence in that fight. But as you watch this fight, right, look at the positioning. Read the feints. In other words, Durrell has ring coverage. 
Durrell can faint like he's going to throw a straight right hand. See what happens. See how Benavides comes up with a way to get close to Durrell. I'm expecting Durrell to take the early rounds. Well, let me say this about Durrell. Durrell is more fluid. He is just simply more fluid. Benavides is a little bit more robotic. You don't know what Durrell's going to do. Because Durrell hides his punches well. Durrell can move a little bit. Durrell also can fight you backing up. In other words, he, he could well have a game plan where he lets Benavides try to walk him down. Right? But he just makes sure he's not there to be found. And as Benavides comes forward predictably, Durrell could use lateral movement, get off some big shots up top. Right? One way to stop a guy from hitting you in the body is to hit him in the face so many times the guy has to use his hands for defense instead of for throwing punches. So, I'll just say, given that Durrell moves well, is fluid, can hit you from distance, is very experienced, is a technician in the ring. In other words, you look at Durrell fights, he fights different guys different ways. Right? In my opinion, in this very close fight, which you could say is too close to call, Durrell's the easy pick here. In other words, you're looking at a fight and you're saying, wow, this is close. You know, it would be like looking at a football game and you say, wow, what's the point spread? One or two points? And you're like, this is going to be close. This is like that Cowboy Saint game that's coming up this weekend in the NFL. Right? You say, hey, I could see Dak doing damage. I could also see Teddy Bridgewater doing damage, right? You're on the fence. Then suddenly the odds maker steps in and says, I'm making this team a 10 to 1 favorite. Right Now that wouldn't happen in other sports because it's preposterous just thinking about it. Somehow that's happening in boxing. Who's the genius who's overlooking Durrell's record? Understand, Durrell has more than 30 wins, folks. One loss. Right? Think he has a draw or two. Right? Who, who's the person who believes the champ? The champ should be a plus 550. That doesn't make sense to me. I'll agree the fight's close. But because the betting odds aren't close, I'll be the casino's Huckleberry. I like Durrell, plus 550, to win this fight. I'll hedge it with Benavides by KO. I feel that if Benavides isn't able to stop Durrell, he's going to be in trouble. I think he loses a decision. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section for this video. Thanks for stopping by.